revenue did actually beat in this circumstance, but it's all about having to rein back its marketing spend and therefore reining back on the customers that use the product. I mean, it's, it's you know, I, I think when, when I think of marketing, whether it's Blue Apron or any other company and marketing expense, uh, you know, usefully we get, we can see the effect of marketing. They don't give us all the numbers that I would like to see uh, from Blue Apron, and most importantly, the churn rate. But what they do tell us is how many subscribers they have, and how much they spent to get them, what the marketing cost was. So, you know, if, if think of marketing as a way to sort of drive the business, like, like putting the pedal on the gas. If they take the pedal off the gas, then you see how well the car rolls without the gas being hit. Well, what we saw was they took the pedal off the gas, but then the user growth fell apart. So, you know, what this shows me is that the customers of Blue Apron don't like the service enough to keep buying it without hitting, being hit in the face with marketing costs, with, with advertisements. Now, whether that means people stand up for a limited period of time and, and that every customer is a new customer, we don't know that because we don't know the average life of a customer. But uh, what I'd love to know from Blue Apron is how long customers stay with them. And so then we can start to address whether the service works. You know, uh, food is a great business. Restaurants are a wonderful thing when they're good. And the question for Blue Apron and what we start to see with these numbers is that maybe the users just don't want to stay with the service. And we know how hard margins can be in the restaurant business as well. And particularly when there's perhaps an Amazon coming after to eat your lunch in your business model as well. And pun on the pun, I mean, Faceoff versus Amazon yes. has always been. I yeah, lunch. I went there. I went there, Corey. Amazon. They're, they're the fierce competition that could, you know, get in and hurt even more when Blue Apron is managing to lose 9% of its customer yeah. base all on its own. I don't, I don't really see Amazon as a big co competitor here. I mean, they don't really have an okay. offering to speak of. But there are so many other companies that are doing this, um, uh, whether it's, it's, it's Sunbasket or there's some green alternatives in this. It's an attractive idea because the revenue is so high. When you can get a user who's spending thousands of dollars a year on the service, if the business is successful, you can imagine why so many would try. But it's a tricky business, the food business, and this food delivery business also quite tricky. 